I'm Scott Allen Miller, and I'm here in Nicaragua, and we have some really recent updates to the COVID vaccine situation and residency requirements. So I want to share that with you, and this is a developing story. This is something I just found out about this morning and had to deal with today. So this is something we want to share. So I've been working on my residency, as many of you know, and many of you are interested in and or are working on your residency. Now, recent information, as recent as January or February, said there were no COVID requirements whatsoever for uh, getting residency here in Nicaragua. This has changed. I'm not sure when it changed, but this is in the last few weeks. As far as I know, this is a requirement that came up in April. So this is very, very new. So we don't have a lot of details on it. We don't know a lot of people who've been through this process or anything. So we're going to do our best to share the information that we have. Uh, okay, so what do we know? We have been told, and I'm going through my residency and I had to deal with this. So I, this is firsthand knowledge. Uh, in January and February, we were told there were no vaccine requirements going through the health uh, care checkup that you needed to do uh, to get your paperwork in order to file for residency. No problem. We had some things that came up. We had to get delayed and we had to recertify. When we went to recertify in May, this is like May first or whatever, uh, they told us that we had to have the new vaccines. So what is the new vaccine? There is now a Russian designed Nicaraguan manufactured COVID vaccine. So it's made here in country and it is free. So there's no cost here. No one's making any money off of this. This is purely that you are required to have the COVID vaccine. Nicaragua is one of the highest vaccination rate countries in the world. And there has been an unbelievable number of people from the anecdotal slice of evidence that I have from my channel who tried to come to Nicaragua to avoid vaccine requirements in other countries. So Nicaragua has had, to the best of my knowledge, a strong influx of foreigners who are coming here, specifically having not only avoided current vaccines, but having avoided them in the past. Now, I have my past vaccines, but they do not count for this. They're happy that you have them or whatever, but that's not what they're looking for. They need a current one that is from 2023, or of course, 2024 is okay. What we're being told is that this is an annual requirement, and it is two shots. I don't know if it's going to be two every year. For at least the first one, it is two. Now, again, it is free, and it is Everyone who is applying for residency here in Nicaragua must have a current Nicaraguan COVID vaccine. You cannot get one from abroad. Maybe you can argue, but officially uh, the policy is that you have to have it done here. But it is free again, so there's no money exchanging hands, and it is a different one that is available in most of the world. So unless you're coming from like Russia or Belarus, you are very unlikely to have had this specific vaccine. So maybe it's going to be an additional booster for you or whatever. And I do know people who just in the last week or so did this voluntarily unconnected to their residency. So some people are seeking this out for your residency when you go to fill it out uh, to do your final paperwork. Obviously, you have to get your in uh, Interpol paperwork that just says you're not wanted anywhere in the world, uh, and you have to get your uh, medical clearance. When you do the medical clearance, if you are, and this is something where some of the people got this wrong, the nurses we talked to got this wrong, but once we talked to the doctor, the vaccine that is available and required is only for ages 18 to 60. So in theory, if you're over 60, this requirement doesn't apply to you and there's nothing available for you. And if you're under 18, you're not supposed to get this shot. So I know a lot of people are like, I'm not going to do this to my kids. We had the same reaction. Don't worry. Once we talked to the doctors, they're like, no, 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 this isn't even certified for under 18. So they're not even, if they're doing their jobs, they won't give it to them even if you ask for it. I'm sure there's some condition under which you could make an argument that's separate from your residency, though. You're not required to do it for kids. If you have some medical condition that precludes you from getting the shots, yes, that should be fine as well. But if you're like me and healthy and have no reason not to get the shot, and I have no reason to avoid getting an extra shot that's free anyway, I haven't been able to get back to the United States to get mine, and I do keep up on my shots normally. So for me, this is no big deal other than the inconvenience of running in to do it. I had to go to my local health center. Now, at some point, I hope to show you the health centers here in Sutiava, just for people who are interested in seeing what they're like. I didn't have time to do any of that today. I had to do it very quickly, but just went to the hospital in Sutiava, maybe 30 minutes, just waited in line and got my free shot. Took a couple minutes. No big deal. For those doing it here, the second shot, I'm not sure how many days you're supposed to wait, like a couple weeks. Uh, and then there's another clinic in a different location here in Sutiava, and that's where you go for the second one. I have no idea why they split it up, uh, but that's what they're doing. So anyone who's going for your residency, either you have to be at an age where it does not apply to you, or you need to have a medical clearance that is going to say you can't have a shot because it's dangerous for you or whatever, 
or you need to go get your series of two COVID shots completely free here in country in order to do your residency. And we're told this has to be updated every year when you update your residency. I don't know how that applies to those doing the five-year investor residency. If they just have a separate process by which you keep this up to date, maybe in conjunction with your six month cedula check-in, I don't know. This is brand new. Nobody has any information on this particularly, but that is what we know right now. I know a lot of people are going to be very upset about this. This is something very important for Nicaragua. Uh, they've really focused on the vaccines here. Uh, they have dropped the requirements for visiting the country. As with everyone else, they want to make sure that tourists are able to come in and that they're it really not having that onerous check at the border. But if you're going to be living here and a burden on the healthcare system, they are making sure that they do everything they can to discourage the transmittance of COVID here in the country. So I know this is going to, I'm definitely going to get some people who say this is no longer a consideration for them because they would choose their country uh, as a less important uh, decision in their life than getting a vaccine. For those who are wondering though, just this, this could be an important question. A few people uh, are specifically not opposed to vaccines, but are opposed to mRNA vaccines. Those are the new ones that do this DNA modification process to like, uh, aud I'm not going to get into the, the technical details of what it's supposed to do, but basically it's programming your DNA to be resistant rather than a traditional vaccine that simply introduces you to a virus uh, that is in a dormant or dead state or whatever, so that your body can um, adjust to it in a more organic way, uh, literally organic. Uh, the vaccines that people often are worried about in the US and Europe are mRNA. This is a traditional vaccine. So if that's the thing that you're concerned about and you're associating that with COVID because COVID is what prompted mRNA vaccines to enter the mainstream, this is not that. This is a traditional vaccine from Russia being manufactured in Nicaragua. Uh, and so you're not likely to see the actual vaccine that you're getting here anywhere else. Thanks for joining me. Sorry to have to bring this news to you. It's not a big deal if you're not opposed to vaccines. It's free, it's easy, it's simple, it's very straightforward. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on this afternoon's video.